If you are someone who likes to shoot with cinema lenses, vintage lenses, or any lens that does not communicate directly with the camera body, we call those CPU lenses, then I have a super powerful feature that you are going to want to know about if you already don't. Now, this setting is going to allow you to bring back features that are normally not available when using non-CPU lenses. Today, we're going to be talking about the Nikon Z8, Z6 Mark III, and Z9, but this setting is available on a lot of Nikon cameras. It just depends on what model you have and what features you have that can be brought back. So with these three bodies, you are going to get back a star favorite in-body image stabilization. You are now going to have access to that again. You're also going to get back EXIF recording data, embed it back into your files. Things like your focal length, maximum aperture, and even the name of the lens. Furthermore, you're also going to get improved in-body metering, and you're also going to get back rangefinder focus assist. So that little dot in the middle that'll turn green when you're in focus and turn red when you're out of it, you get that back as well. So how do you get to it? Let me show you. You're gonna go ahead and go into your menu, and then you're gonna scroll down to your menu setup. And from there, you're going to go to non-CPU lens data. Now you can see I already have some things in here, but I have put in a fake focal length for the purposes of this. We can set that to 50 millimeters. It's as simple as going in there, going over on the D-pad and then actually putting in the focal length. And then you can also do the same thing for maximum aperture as well. So I just chose a fake lens of T1.2. And here we can put in the lens's name. Now what's really awesome about this as well is that you can profile up to 20 lenses. So that's a set of cinema lenses. That's a couple of sets of cinema lenses actually, and even a couple sets that's a vintage glass if you have them as well, or a couple of pieces of vintage glass. Nonetheless, I'm showing you this setting because I recently discovered it. It's not a new one, but I discovered it and so I want to share it with you. It would have been so awesome to have known about this two years ago when I was at NAB testing out the DZO Arless Primes and the DZO Anamorphic lenses because I was doing a whole lot of hand shooting and I just didn't have access to in-body image stabilization. So you live and you learn, right? But anyway, I learned about it and I'm sharing it with you. Now, like I said, keep in mind, this setting is even available on the Nikon D850, but the D850 doesn't have in-body image stabilization. So make sure you look up what camera you have and what features are going to be available with the setting on Nikon's website. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. If you have not, follow me on social media. The links are in the description down below and leave me a comment. It helps with engagement. Now more than ever, my beautiful people, if you are ever feeling uninspired, creative or just want to give up on life. Remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired guys. And as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney. I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace out.